So let today, this moment, this hour be a reminder for you to wake the F up, for you to take your life back on all terms, all terms, yours. Choose now, choose love, choose peace, choose harmony, choose to be in alignment with what is and celebrate what you've done to this point while choosing the next mountaintop. Blessings and blessings, and welcome to the Preston Smiles podcast. Uh, today's transmission is a reminder that success does not require you looking out the window, but success does require you looking in the mirror. Now, what do I mean by that? I mean that there's a lot of us that spend a lot of time comparing, looking at who's doing what on Instagram, what people's families and lifestyles are like. and what that tends to do is steal your shine. What it tends to do is take away from the part of you that is tuned in and tapped into what your unique gifts, talents, and abilities are. The fruit doesn't belong to the tree. It belongs to the ecosystem. Your fruit, your time, your talents, and your treasures don't belong to you. You signed up to serve. You signed up to give, to give of your gifts to give of your creativity, to give from your muse. And if you are looking in someone else's yard, you are doing yourself a disservice. But it does require that you look in the mirror. It does require that you take a look and ask yourself, of all these results, does this feel good? Does this feel true? Is this what I want my life to be like? Is this what I want my relationships to be like? Is this what I want my spirituality to feel like? Is this what I want my health and vitality to feel like? And if it's not, this is not the time to shame and blame yourself. It is your time to say, ah, got it. I created this, which means I can create something else. One of the most important parts and pieces is that you do not put yourself in a position where you believe that you are a victim to the world. You're not. Hard times do happen. Really messed up stuff does happen. And yet you have an opportunity right here, right now to reclaim, to define and design a life that feels good to you because what else are you going to do? Or if we're going to be here, if we're going to be leaning in and moving forward and having life, you might as well do it on your terms. You might as well do it falling forward. You might as well do it leaning in. And if you don't, and if you haven't, it's not because that's who you are. It's, it's because it's who you became. It's a strategy that you used as a child to stay safe. And now that strategy and that mask is no longer necessary, but you don't know how to take it off. So step one to taking it off is recognizing that you have it on because you can't disown that which you have never owned within yourself. Ownership is an important piece to leveling up. That's what that mirror is about. And guess what? Everything's a mirror. I looked in the mirror today and I noticed quite a bit of bloating in my stomach and I didn't get down on myself. I just said, game on, pay attention because we all have a choice in the matter. And I mean that quite literally, choice in the matter. All of this is matter. And so I have a choice in how it presents. And, and I'm not trying to get six pack abs because of how it looks. For me, it's do I have the clearest, strongest, most available channel for who I am, for what my unique blueprint is. If I'm looking in my neighbor's yard, if I'm, if I'm comparing myself to my friends or, or, or to the, the, the next top big influencer or whatever the case may be, I will start to forget that we don't have the same curriculum. It may look like it, on the surface, but we don't have the same curriculum. God, Buddha, Krishna, Allah, source, has chosen me for something different. And it's my job to say yes to that, to be in sacred alignment with the truth of my being in any way I can. And when I'm believing lies, when I'm swept up in the, in the, in the weapons of mass distraction, when I'm scrolling my life away, when I'm eating my life away, and I'm emotionally suppressing and pushing stuff down, I am not actually alive I'm surviving how dare us in this century just survive what a travesty that would be to just survive no we came here to thrive we came here to pour forth there's a a, a verse in the Bible that, that Jesus says as I am lifted up I draw all unto me he's talking about consciousness as he lifts his consciousness he draws everybody to him as I raise my vibration as I attune to the truth of my being, I draw all unto me like, like moths to a flame. And I draw all unto me not for egoic reasons, but as a demonstration for what's possible. 
to light someone else's fire, to remind them of who and what they are. If you found me, that's, that's what you are too. Birds of a feather always flock together. Even if we look different on the outside, I may look like an eagle and you may look like a crow or whatever the case may be, but we are the same bird because you wouldn't be here. So let today, this moment, this hour be a reminder for you to wake the F up, for you to take your life back on all terms, all terms, yours. Choose now, choose love, choose peace, choose harmony, choose to be in alignment with what is and celebrate what you've done to this point while choosing the next mountaintop. That's real power. My shirt says the ultimate warrior, or at least that's, that's who's on the shirt. And it's, it's actually a beautiful reminder because the ultimate warrior is a warrior of light, is the warrior of love, is the person who continuously asks and chooses love first. What would love do now? Mm, having some troubles in my relationship. What would love do now? Experiencing some dis, this this ease in my body. What would love do now? Ooh, having having a thing with my roommate or my mom or my cousin or my brother. What would love do now? Ooh, not loving my thighs or my hips or my or my nose. And and, and I want to shoot it up and put Botox and all. What would love do now? Because the answer to that is the highest and best choice, not just for you, but for everyone involved. So I leave you with this: If you bring forth what is within you, what you bring forth will save you. But if you do not bring forth what is within you, what you do not bring forth will destroy you. Get to work, y'all. If you have not bought my new book, Spiritual Millionaire, go to PrestonSmiles.com forward slash book right now and go buy three to 10 to 40 copies and buy them from the frequency of abundance and give because the key to living is giving. There is some magic and some codes in that book that I have spent a lifetime figuring out to get to the point where I can then translate it. There's energy in those pages. It's not just writing. I was uniquely tuned in and tapped in, and it's a sacred reminder of the abundance that's always here, including when it comes to money. If this uh, podcast is awesome to you, share it with somebody and make sure you review it and like and subscribe if you're on YouTube. Blessings and blessings, y'all.